Hello all, good afternoon and welcome to another session with me, Varun on Tech Tablet. And in this session, we would be understanding what is SaaS and what is it that we can do with SaaS and how would SaaS help us in working as a developer or probably let us look at what are the you know, facets of SaaS, right? And to give you a small introduction about me, my name is Varun. I have been working as a trainer on SAP development uh, forums and then on data science with respect to R and Python. And talking, talking about my experience, I've got an experience of, you know, which is heading towards seven and I currently work on R, Python and TensorFlow languages. And if in case you'd want to uh, follow me or ask me for any queries, you have my Instagram ID, which is Hyderabadi underscore Choro on which you can hit your follow button. So the agenda would be to discuss basically what is SaaS? Why do we have to use this as an IT professional? What are the advantages and disadvantages that this module carries and your career opportunities, which would be the top most or which would be the most important question for you if you are preparing for a module or if you are learning something new, right? So let us begin with understanding the basic or uh, the foundation of this language or technology. Well, SaaS is an integrated software suite which is used for advanced analytics. Now, when I say analytics, it is mostly for business purposes, which is also a reason why SaaS can be used greatly for business intelligence. And it is also a great data management tool and can also be used for predictive analysis. But then one thing that a lot of people get confused with or they probably uh, will fail to understand is machine learning still needs to be known if you are a SaaS developer or even if you are a SaaS analyst as well. Because even when you talk about predictive analysis or when you talk about different concepts related to data science, SAS still gives a lot of, or still uses a lot of concepts or still works on a lot of concepts which are derived out of or which have a shared uh, uh, you know, base with Python or R and the languages which are related to data science or machine learning. So if you're learning SAS, it becomes inevitable for me to say that you would have to learn concepts of data science. I wouldn't talk about uh, the depth or the exposure that you will have to gain into this knowledge, but you can consider that also as a prerequisite. Now, what are the different languages that you have available or what are the different types or components that you have available within SAS as a language? You have base SAS, you have SAS graph, you have enterprise minor, you have BI, you have advanced SAS and you have SAS BI. Talking about base SAS, it is used to solve a lot of base analytic problems like you know data wrangling and cleaning and understanding the data a bit better. Base SAS does. Another um, tool that is SAS visualization is a great tool if you would want to work on data visualization. That's plots or graphs. Then you have enterprise miner, which is for data mining purpose. Then you have BI, which is for business intelligence. It works a lot on reports and you know generating reports with graphs and different stuff then you have advanced SAS, which works using sql and macros so here you would have to know concepts of sql and ms excel and how to pull info and how, you know basics of etl you would have to know concepts like these and finally you have SAS data integration which is for etl process and it stores data in the data set or in the tables that you have entered or that you have created for exchange of information or for storage of information right then where would you mostly want to use this? Now, this becomes the second most important question that is, where would you want to use this as a language or as a developer? Well, this can be used almost in any format, uh, which includes SAS tables, Excel tables, or data file or database files. Then it can be managed and uh, manipulated using your existing data to get the information that you need. For example, you can use a subset of your data uh, and you can merge it or you can use it with another data set and you can create a new column. Like you have uh, column A in data set A1, you have column B in data set B2. Now I can you know, merge both of these and I can create a new column, which is also possible guys. Then you can analyze your data using statistical techniques ranging from descriptive measures like correlation to logistic regression to mixed models to sophisticated methods. Now this is what I was talking about just a while back. When I, was, uh, when I was mentioning that we use concepts of data science or we use concepts of basic mathematics or basic statistics, this is what I was trying to tell you. Like here we have concepts of correlation, 
uh, which is an in depth uh, or you know which is an ingrained principle in data science though correlation is a very basic mathematical term but still it's used in data science right and you have mixed models you have sophisticated methods such as model you have method model you have modern method selection or mo uh, you have modern model selection you have bayesian hierarchical models so all these which i'm trying to talk to you about are all present and uh, you know, are, are all present in and work with sas then they present the results of your analysis in a meaningful report that you can share with others and these reports that you can share with others they can work in a wide range or or, or you can share them in a wide range of formats like you can do that in html in pdf in rtf it's open to different kinds of formats that you might want to share with then talking about the advantages and disadvantages as you know every module comes with an advantage and with advantages disadvantages don't just go just like that so talking about the advantages you have it's pretty easy to understand and use it's not very tough it's easily debuggable so any mistake or anything that you would want to check should not take a lot of time you have a large database management ability it is very highly secure that's actually one of the most important reasons why it's got a very heavy licensing cost and it's got thoroughly evaluated algorithms no algorithms which is in confusion or which is not yet developed and tested is used here then talking about disadvantages it is not an open source uh, like python or r as a language it is very highly priced that's what i was talking about you know the licensing cost and even in spite of this cost uh, the graphics do not match our language or uh, you know other languages and there is a good difficulty that's experienced by a lot of developers in text mining uh, in you uh, for text mining in sas so these are uh, the four disadvantages and the four advantages that we have when we use sas now talking about the job role and the module in sas base sas is mostly used by data analysts programming analysts or, or sas developers now guys analyst being the most basic position i would want you to assume that analyst is a position that's there that that's there available in all you have it in di you have it in advanced sas you have it in sas bi you have it in enterprise sas so now that is something i would not want to talk about notwithstanding analyst base sas and uh, you know sas enterprise sas bi advanced sas they're all used by developers but when you talk about uh, again sas di and sas bi and sas graph they can be used by designers and also people who come from uh, not hardcore development background but also from functional backgrounds so guys the best part or the most interesting thing that i would want to uh, give as a takeaway is when you use any of these modules all of these modules can be used by any of the industries that you can probably think of right now it could be the e-commerce industry it could be the it or uh, it could be healthcare or, or pharma it could be uh, you know banking insurance automobile i mean you name it sas can be used there or i mean it's like you name it you have it kind of uh, existence is what we see right now so these are the different career opportunities that you have when you would uh, see or, or when you see yourself using sas so guys uh, the only thing that i would want to conclude with before i you know call it an off is whenever you're using sas sas is never used as one single language i mean sas is not used as a stand alone module sas always goes uh, in combination with another language now it could be r or it could be python or it could be uh, you know apache spark or and it could be any other language so whenever you you you're learning sas it is very essential for you uh, to cover concepts of probably machine learning or to cover concepts of base statistics or mathematics and not just computer foundational concepts because as we have just seen when you talk about uh, subjects or concepts like uh, predictive analysis predictive modeling model designing model evaluation they are all concepts which involve machine learning principles or machine learning foundational uh, uh, you know origins so it would be very unwise of you if you choose to unlearn or if you choose to 
uh, reject uh, or neglect machine learning concepts and directly jump into SaaS with the confidence or with an understanding that you are very good at programming languages. That would definitely, you know, ensure that you might end up in problems very shortly after you take up the module. So guys, I hope you, this gives you an understanding about what this module SaaS is. And also, I hope that this video has helped you. And thanks a lot for being there. Thanks a lot for being patient. If you have any queries, please feel free to use the comment section below. Or you can also hit me up on my Instagram account and I would reply back to you at my earliest. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope this video has helped. This is me, Varun, signing off.